Hello, I'm Lewis. I've just noticed there's a new poll that came out a few days ago. It's finishing on the 24th of July. Uh, it's currently the 22nd of July. So let's have a look at this poll. So, the poll uh, is just to the 24th, and there I are. 14 questions, so let's try and do this quickly. The Edgeville, the Edgeville respawn point will feature in the free-to-play style worlds. Sure, yeah, I like that idea. Um, so, if a player pays to activate the Edgeville respawn point, this will be remembered so they can toggle it on and off in future without paying any more money. Um, I mean, it depends how much money it's going to cost. If it's a lot, then I'd say make it free. But if it's not a lot, then I'd say don't. So I'm guessing no, because for this moment in time, I'm assuming most people say yes. Ava's ammo saving effect will be more powerful inside Castle Wars, so it protects ammo regardless where it lands, regardless of what armor you're wearing. That sounds like a nice idea. I mean, Castle Wars minigames, I prefer for minigames to be like safe and you can keep things. Well, especially the safe minigames. Uh, players will be able to... Dis disable price conf confirmation on Lunar Plank Make Planks Bell. I'm not too sure what that is. That sounds useful. Um, because you can... Well, the way it says disable, I, I assume it means it can toggle it. Question number five. The game will remember your bank preference for swap insert mode over logout. Okay, then that sounds like a fair thing. Right-click travel option will be added to Spirit Trees, Elkoi... Diaro, Waydar, and Lumdo. Diaro's travel option will not allow players to return to Apatol after completing the quest without explain, claiming the defense activity. That's a really good idea. I mean, there's two things there, but I like the idea that just because pures don't have to get the defense XP at the moment, that'll just make it easier if you're not a pure. Question 7. We will remove the chat box that comes up when you click the shanty bank uh, chest. Yeah, that sounds good. Players will be able to win fire capes in the fight cave, even if they already have one. The fire cave attendants will, will buy unwanted fire capes for five five, eh, 8,000 total. That sounds good. So you can get multiple fire capes. Players will be able to refill water skins directly at a water source. Yes, I didn't realize you can't do that. Oh, uh, you, you should have, have a bowl to fill them up. Question 10. Entrana monks will forbid players from taking gnome balls to Entrana. I don't, it's not really a weapon, so no. Why would they do that? Um, Maybe there's some glitch happening. But if it's a glitch, then they should just fix it. Question 11. Default price of abyssal whips will be increased so that they are protected over dragon battle axes on death. Alchemy sp spells will no longer work on the whip. Well, I like the idea that the Ab Abyssal Whip has increased protection, but I do not like the idea that the whip cannot be alchemized. So I'm going to say no. Um, I'm probably going to go on forums for that. Default price of glory amulets will be increased so they are protected over room plate bodies on death. The alchemy spell will no longer work on amulets. No. Why are they making it so you can't alchemize these things? I mean, obviously, I think they should just give you a warning on these items. I'm going to go on forums for this. Default prices of water birth island rings will be increased so they are protected over skill capes and temple knight hauberks on death. The alchemy spells will no longer work on rings. No. Default prices of rune defenders fire capes and penance items will be increased so they are protected over rune on death. Alchemy spells no longer work on them. And we say yes because they're not actually um, something that you get with money. But these other things we're just going to have to go on the forums and check. So let's vote and see what the other players have said. So so far we have 15,208 votes and yeah. So, Edgeville Respawn Point will be available in free-to-play worlds. 
83% have said yes. If a player pays to activate the edge field respawn point, it is remembered so they can toggle it on and off in future without paying any more money. 89% have said yes. Ava's ammo saving effect will be made more powerful inside Castle Wars so it protects ammo regardless of where it lands and regardless of what armor you're wearing. 87% have said yes. Question 4. Players will be able to disable price confirmation messages on Luna Make Plank Spell. 89% have said yes. The game will remember your bank preference for swap and insert mode over logins. 84% have said yes. Question 6. A right click travel option will be added to Spirit Trees, Elkoi, Diero, Waydar and Lumdar. Diero's travel option will not be allowed unless players can claim the defense XP from Apatol. 86% have said yes. Question 7. We will remove the message box that comes up on the Shanty Pass Bank. 93% have said yes. Players will be able to win fire capes even if they already have one. The fire cave attendant will buy and want a fire cape for 8,000 total. 89% have said yes. Players will be able to refill water skins directly at a water source. 94% have said yes. Entrana monks will be forbidden from taking gnome balls to Entrana. 53% have said yes. So that's quite interesting. Question 11. Default price of Abyssal Whips will be increased so they are no longer protected over Dragon Battle Axes on death. The Alchemy spell will no longer work on the Whip. 70% have said yes. Default prices of Glory Amulets will be increased so they are protected over Rune Plate Bodies on death. The, amulet, the Alchemy spells will never work on them. 66% have said yes. Default prices of Water Birth Island Rings will be increased so they are protected over Skill Capes and Temple Knight Hoburkers on death. The Alchemy spell will no longer work on the rings. 68% have said yes. In question 14, default price of Rune Defenders, Fire Capes, Penance Items will be increased for the protection over Rune Armor on death. The Alchemy spells will no lo longer work on the affected items. So 77% have said yes. So, just having a look at these, looks like most of them will be happening. Um, there's a few at the bottom, like Entron amongst allowing gnome balls, and some of the alchemy slash price change, so things that are protected on death, might, probably won't happen. The only one that might happen is the Rune Defender, Fire Cape, and Penance items. Okay then. So if you haven't voted in this, I suggest you go on the uh, on the website and vote. Unfortunately, I've seen so far the the news feed doesn't seem to be working properly, and you have to go on Twitter to see all their feeds, and it's annoying for me because I don't have Twitter. So if you've not voted in this, vote in this, and we'll see more updates and more polls soon.